Today we will be covering, or uncovering in a sense, what could the event possibly be. Stick around and see what Mara, the co-founder and creative director, said about the event at the end of this video. Let's dive straight into Grey Zone Warfare and where Lamang's future hangs in the balance of three different PMC factions. Where you were hired to uncover the mystery of what's behind what the developers call the event. And also tasked to, and I quote, bring back anything of value. This event changed everything in Lamang to the point where the United Nations Lamang Relief Agency introduced an international quarantine and immediate evacuation of Lamang. Now that you know a little backstory, let's speculate on what this event may be with the current information we have. In the first Grey Zone Warfare reveal trailer, you pass over a book called The Roadside Picnic. Within the book, there is an area called The Zone, which to me seems a little similar to the event that we have in Grey Zone. This zone contains anomalies and artifacts left behind after an unknown event presumed to be extraterrestrial in nature. Could we perhaps be fighting aliens in this upcoming new game and could the artifacts be the valuable objects you're tasked to recover? My opinion is no, but another tidbit of information about the lore is before you come into the picture and join a faction, the lore states that the three PMC factions were met with an unexpected professional attack, which caused significant losses. Within these words that were chosen for this portion of information, it makes me feel like this force was unhuman in nature. Maybe this is aliens, maybe not. I'll leave it up to you to decide. It was stated many times that the devs at Madfinger Games are pushing the realism boundary and I do not think about aliens when I think realism. Let me know how you would feel in the comments section if there were aliens in Grey Zone. I personally think the book Roadside Picnic inspired them to use the basic backstory of the book by renaming the zone to the event and that's pretty much it. Now with these extraterrestrial speculations aside let's get realistic. I have a few scenarios that I think are possible. Scenario 1. Taking into account the location of the fictional Lamang Island in Southeast Asia and that location's weather events, could this possibly be a monsoon that left the area devastated with flooding or perhaps a volcano? The developers already stated that in a later date there will be weather events such as monsoons. But this does not explain why there is radiation zones in the game. Scenario 2, a nuclear disaster or warhead could be another possibility. In the lore it states Lamang had a turbulent past with civil war and foreign power influences. This tells me someone or a group of people could have been tired of this and perhaps set off a nuclear device or maybe just a plant meltdown. Who knows? Scenario 3, a chemical spill or bioweapon which leaves the area with radiation and intoxication effects. This may explain the status bar that we see here. Or could it be a mix of both a nuclear disaster and bioweapon? The following scenarios are ones that I deemed unlikely because in my eyes they do not fully explain the radiation and intoxication effects. An ancient civilization, stolen tech, crashing satellite, meteorite, and sadly the zombie apocalypse. Hopefully, Later down the road, we will see a wonderful zombie mod developed by the developers themselves at Madfinger Games. And only then, this will complete the game in my eyes. My opinion surrounding the event is this has something to do with Lamont's turbulent past and perhaps experiments. Hinting the warning signs that we have been seeing in the trailers, perhaps an underground lab explosion with a bioweapon. This would explain the intoxication and radiation effects along with giving us tons of lore to uncover with the hidden bunkers and everything else that could possibly be implemented. Now for what you have all been waiting for, Mara's statement in the Chechik interview. The roadside picnic is an inspiration for Grey Zone Warfare more than a direct adaptation. 
the primary similarities are that something cataclysmic happens on the island, something which the people there couldn't comprehend. There will not be sci-fi anomalies like sparks or bubbles of energy, and you won't be searching for artifacts that will give you superpowers or anything like that. But there will be artifacts, mysteries, and other unknowns that must be unraveled. If you want to see more Grey Zone Warfare, come motivate me and throw me a subscribe. I would love nothing more than to make it to 10,000 subscribers full of Grey Zone followers before this game's beta is released, which is still scheduled for quarter 1, 2024.